Hi, this is Chen from QuickSight Spice Team. I'm gonna demo the new QuickSight Spice CMK feature. This feature enables QuickSight customers to use their own KMS keys to encrypt and manage Spice datasets of their QuickSight account. To be specific, with this Spice CMK feature, Customers are able to revoke access to their SPICE datasets at any time and maintain an auditable log that tracks when their SPICE datasets are being accessed. To start to use this feature, customers need to log into their QuickSight account as an admin user. In the screen here, I already logged into one of our test accounts as an admin user. And to ready to start to use this feature, I will need to go to the right top corner, click Manage QuickSight. Then on the left side, I will need to click the KMS Keys tab. Then I will need to click the Manage here This will navigate me to the SPICE CMK console. The SPICE CMK feature will be controlled and managed on this page. The first step to use this feature is I need to add new CMK into this QuickSight account. To do that, I can click the select key here and in the drop-down menu, it will automatically fetch all the existing CMK in my AWS account. Alternatively, if there's no existing CMK in my AWS account, I can also click Create key here. This will navigate me to the KMS console of my AWS account, and I can create a key there. In this demo, I will just use the existing CMK in my AWS account, and in here, I will pick a random one to start. This should be automatically checked, saying use as default encryption key for all new Spice DSS in this QuickSight account. After I click Select, it means there will be a default icon added next to this CMK. This means all new SPICE dataset in this QuickSight account of this region from now on will be encrypted by this default CMK automatically. This implies admin controls everything. That is, later when dataset author create new SPICE datasets, they will have no control or visibility of the CMK. But instead, the new SPICE datasets will be automatically encrypted by this default CMK here. I can also add more CMK into this QuickSight account, and I can just follow the same procedure. However, at any time, there could only be one default key. And only the default key will be used to encrypt new SPICE datasets, while non-default keys will not take any effect. I can also change the default key by click Set as Default here. After changing, all new SPICE datasets will be encrypted by the new default key. But existing SPICE datasets encrypted by the previous default key will still stay encrypted by that key. I can also choose to stop using this SPICE CMK feature by removing this default key. And after removing, 
all new SPICE datasets will not be CMK encrypted anymore. But again, existing SPICE datasets are not impacted. This is how we control this feature as an admin. Now we can look at this SPICE CMK feature as a dataset author. Before that, let's set a default key so this SPICE CMK feature will take effect. To start from a dataset author point of view, let's go back to the start page of QuickSight. And we can create a new SPICE dataset by clicking the dataset here. And we create, click new dataset. And in this demo, I will choose S3 as data source, give a name. And also use the test data I already have. I will click connect and visualize. This will create a new SPICE dataset and I can send queries to it. So in this case, from dataset other point of view, this by CMK feature actually changed nothing. Dataset author can create a SPICE dataset as normal without seeing any different experience. As we can see here, all the import and querying is the same as previously without this CMK feature. However, Though so there is no change from dataset author point of view, after the default CMK is set in this QuickSet account, all this importing and querying showing here of this dataset will go through encryption and decryption of the default CMK. This is basically how the dataset author's point of view. Now we can take a look at how customer can get the actual control and auditing of their SPICE dataset by introducing of this SPICE CMK feature. With this SPICE CMK feature, customer has actual control of their SPICE dataset. That is, they can revoke access to their SPICE dataset at any time. To do that, there are multiple ways. For example, customer can just simply revoke the permission granted to QuickSight to access their CMK, or just simply disable the CMK in customer's AWS account. To do that, customer can take their CMK in their KMS console of their AWS account, and they can take the key actions here and click disable. This all happens in customer's AWS account. And after customer click disable here, soon the analysis dashboard of the previous SPICE datasets encrypted by this CMK will stop showing any data, like here. The revoke access could take up to 15 minutes to take effect due to some caching are used in our backend but it should not take any longer than 15 minutes. Another functionality of this feature brings to customer is the actual auditing of all the access to their SPICE dataset, which is also the access to the CMK. And that will be logged on the cloud trail in customer's AWS account here. To track the logging, I can go to the CloudTrail event history, and then I can choose the event source to be KMS. And as we can see here, our previous activity of importing and querying of SPICE dataset has been logged in this CloudTrail. Let's take a log entry as an example. This decrypt.
So in here, as we can see here, it is showing the KMS keys being used. We can confirm that it is the same default key we set previously on the QuickSet account. Yeah, it's this one. In the log entry here, it's also showing an encryption context of the dataset ARN being accessed. This is the unique identifier for the SPICE dataset. And we can also confirm that matches the previous SPICE dataset we created. In the analysis here, we can access this dataset ID by click Edit. And in the URL, this is the dataset ID it is. And in the previous CloudTrail log entry, we can see it matches the dataset ID here. So basically, this log entry is saying at this certain time, this spice dataset is being decrypted by using this CMK. So this brings actual visibility to customer of how the access and when the access happened to their SPICE dataset. This is all the content for this demo. Thank you.